Oh, this is much better. This is great. Whoa, we kind of jumped. Are we actually jump moving? Thing. I think so. Yeah, we're moving. Okay, cool. Right? Yeah, I th well, something's happening. I don't know if we're just... I mean, we're... Um... Yeah, we've, we've moved away from it a bit. Yeah. Oh, it might actually help if we were both on the same... Yeah, there we go. It's weird because i got to remember to flick it back <laughs> off. This works. How far are we away from it... town? <laughs> Um, I think we're hidden further away from spawn. Uh, worst yeah. things have happened. This is probably the worst example of of no no this is this is definitely Cox or Spares rowing. Yeah, I mean we this is this is really surprisingly effective though. What we need to do is we need to have server games where we actually do stuff like this. And we have races is, in yeah. like rowboats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could actually be funny. Well, this actually suits your uh your little boat raft thing a lot better. You can have air um air uh rowboats. Yeah, that that would work. I like that idea. I think we might have to try that one out. I might Presumably I might make an a... air race boat, air race track in my in my little and we'd have to switch levers to, like, change direction, so the whole course could actually have, like, air buoys. And, like, when we get to the corner, we gotta run around to the other side of the boat. Yeah. That would be cool. That would be cool. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely proud of us. I am more proud of us right now than, like, anything. Like, this is teamwork right here, Cleo. This this is awesome. I can't believe this actually works. Team Sky Rats up here. Team Sky Rats, yes. That's awesome. How far away? We're, we're like masses away now. Yeah, we're getting... Yeah, like, we got a really good rhythm. We're moving about two, uh, a block every second, I would say. So, I mean, in a minute we'd move 60 blocks, which is not bad. Yeah, I, I'm watching. I'm watching the counter go on on the um, the mini map. It's going reasonably far. This the is way to do. It, we could also set it up with chimes on your little racing boats, <laughs> so that every time you um, every time you you row or whatever, it makes a chime. Oh, so you can, so you just... can coordinate the time in better. Look, look where I am. Where are you? I, I, what do you mean? You're on this side? Or I'm not touching this this thing. I've just left it on. And you can just do this. So wait, the entire part that you've been doing <laughs> has been unnecessary? Absolutely unnecessary. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What if I just leave mine on? No, you. I think you know, that one needs a pulse. But you could do that with a redstone timer. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, so I was thinking I was going to have to bolt pulse both sides, but if I only had to pulse the one, because it's essentially pulsing when it hits over there. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> I went from being so proud of us for our incredible coordination and teamwork to being so disappointed that uh, we had two people doing the work of one. <laughs> but we recognized on our own that we were doing the work of one. It took us about 80 blocks, Cleo. It took us a lot of time to figure that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, and there's Doc back there, like the uh, coxswain, you know, yeah. except he's not actually yelling us anything, yelling Row! anything helpful at Row! us. <laughs> stroke, stroke. Oh, that's this so funny. This is so cool. So wait, I'm thinking if that's the case, I might try replacing this with the pressure plate again. Yeah, that might. Oh, and it, it's getting stuck again. Oh, that's a shame. So, how do I make something right, if that you, could actually send a pulse? Well, if you go to your invent in, into the inventory and you type timer, that little switch there, that thing there, can um, set a pulse however many seconds you want it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to cook a ton of stone and put redstone in. Oh, and, it's a stone. Yeah. It's a stone. It's stone wafers, so it's not. It's not a huge. It's not expensive, but it's not stuff I have up here. No, either. it's it's a pain in the bum to actually do it, but um, yeah, a redstone pulse like that would be would be really good, and then you wouldn't well, even gonna... have to row. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I just I kind of like the rowing. It's soothing. I could do an entire live stream where it's like, how do y'all? Joe Hills here, streaming as I always do from Nashville, Tennessee, and today in Skybase Adventure, Captain, we're just going to be going east for another thousand, two thousand blocks. So every second or so, I just flip this lever, and in the meantime, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about life, relationships, and love. You can, okay, you can caller have that. number one. <laughs> you can have that in, you know, you were doing your boat thing for a while, where you just had your, your philosophy thing for your boat. Yeah, my morning gonna... musings is just me flipping the switch off. Oh man, Leo, that, that mountain's coming up pretty quick if we don't figure out how to turn. We're in trouble. <laughs> so why is it that Doc is not moving in relate? Is it because he's know. hitting the wire? I don't know. I think the wire might be stopping him. Well, you, you, you push and I'll have a look. Uh, hold on. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of wire down here, and then I'll see if it pushes me backwards. Still, no. Yeah. See, the wire now is moving me. So it's good he st he stood right there. <laughs> Anywhere. Should I should I stop the wire? <laughs> should you what? I feel like I should stop the wire. No, 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 no. Because I want him to be impressed when he comes back. <laughs> I don't I'm normally impressed. care about impressing Doc, but like <laughs> he would. He worked so hard on that thing to try and impress us, and uh, I feel like I should repay the favor. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, actually. I can't believe oh, how far so we've fun. gone. Yeah, I mean, and, and this is just manual power, too. Like, if I mm. had this, uh, oh, if I had a computer craft computer, I could just say, like, pulse. Where am I? Hey, Doc. Well, so we've, we've moved a while away quite a section. <laughs> So, so Cleo and I figured out that we could row this like a boat, where she runs this lever, and I run this lever. And after about 50 blocks, we then discovered that only this lever actually needs to be toggled. So we had been so <laughs> proud of our coordination, but we were actually just wasting a second person. And, like, but yeah, no, we're incredible. Look at how good this thing is. It's nice. awesome. Look how far we've come. Yeah, that's where we started that's over there. Over there. Piers, we're gonna crash into the mountain, Captain. <laughs> yeah, I know. We, we're gonna have to figure out how to turn before we get there. But okay, so now that I've got the fundamentals of this, though, it's just an issue of going back, getting stone wafers, and making the timer. Yeah, and then it can just go on forever until it crashes. So, Doc, what do you think? Is this is this a uh, acceptably using your PhD in uh, redstone ness? <laughs> how would you evaluate this vessel? I would give as it as a prototype. As a as a prototype, I'd give it a solid C. For classy. Yeah. <laughs> For, For coordination. There's just yeah. all this wire. Like, look at this. For it's cooperation. Just like, the side. like, it's waiting to electrocute somebody. Do you not look at this? Oh, can you actually? I don't think blue electricity is actually hazardous. It's hazardous to nature. <laughs> <laughs> actually, wait a second. How come? How come the cable's disconnected in places? Does that mean it's not conveying a charge, or is that just a graphical it's glitch? It's a graphical glitch. Every time it, uh, a frame quarry or a frame in itself moves, these uh, become full blocks, and they actually disconnect from each other, and sometimes they forget to reconnect. Okay, but they're actually still functioning. Yeah, they should be fine. So, now that I've got a, a working one-directional prototype, I can actually start adding the other three well, first, directions. first what you need to figure out is what's actually necessary to use. What do you mean, what's that What's actually to necessary to operate it? Well, I mean, if I just set up a computer craft computer here that's, and I said pulse, you know, and pulse right five times, mm. it would move me five blocks. Yeah, but all, all these wires necessary? Oh, no. Not now, but like they're gonna run to no, no. But I'm gonna set up other frames for. Uh, I'm gonna need three more sets of these to move in every direction. Oh yeah, this is so cool. 
So, yeah, and I've purposely have stopped over water because I'm out of jetpack <laughs> and I'm going to have to jump down. Uh, I might wait until daylight, though, because this is hazardous. Yeah, I need to go and make another pair of boots. Does anybody have any obsidian? Because I, like, don't. I, I have, have 12 five black stacks. Wool. Oh, I have a bunch of obsidian in my um in my base. Uh, back yeah, I, I need I need four, four. Oh wait, boots. I can use a, I can use a book to go back home and recharge my jetpack. One second, <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, how did I not realize that? I was like, oh man, I'm gonna have to run through all these spiders and everything. Oh, and I can even bring the stone for the computer and the the wafers and. Yeah. Yeah. So all this stuff that I was like, I can't do this right now because I don't have the parts. Yeah, I have the parts. I'm just dumb. Well, wow, I'm. This is actually pretty far from where we started, Cleo. Where are you? I'm, I can't even I'm see you. I'm flying to you. Oh, there you are. It is. It is quite significantly far. It's like a hundred blocks. Yeah, I mean, for for getting there under manual power, I mean. <laughs> this is how the Greeks did it, Cleo. This is how the Greeks did it. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, half the potatoes in the chest so we don't drop them off the side. You're a star. And I'm going to put all the extra stuff here. Okay, so I've got the timer. So what I'm going to do with the timer is I'm going to set it up, I guess, next to one of these things. That would make sense to me. So, timer. I don't know if it right matters click, what to Right reach. click. You need to, right, you need to, it. you see the way the redstone torches? Yeah, like that. Yeah. There you go. Well, it looks like it's just working. There you go. But you see where the redstone torch, that's where the signal comes out. Gotcha. Okay, so I should probably stand uh, with something behind me. Yeah. Because if I don't have seats, then I just get caught up in it. <laughs> this is, a. Uh, we are going faster. We are going to hit the mountain. We, we now are. Now I'm actually scared. <laughs> you should be. This, this is uh, a little bit more frightening. Suddenly all of this is more urgent. Okay, so... <laughs> now we need um, to turn around. Now we need to figure out how you're going to turn around. Yeah, now I need to figure out how to turn off the timer. Can um, I use a you lever can, on you it? Can, you can, if, you okay, right so yeah, it, if, it, if you right click it, you can see uh, timer intervals. Oh, well, if you put a, if you give it redstone power, it shuts off. Yeah, and, so if, that's all yeah, I and you can... If you look on it, you can see whichever timer you want. Well, no, no, don't start it up again. I didn't I mean to. to. I didn't mean to. I can't get that off. Eh, okay. Okay, I got it. Right. So now I can use the crafting bench to make more frames real quick. Right. <laughs> and because we're going to need a lot more space on this thing, right? Yeah, because we need to make sort of like the, the opposite in, in over here. Yeah. And, oh, although I was going to say all the frames of the world isn't going to make up for the fact that I don't have more engines or things. Hmm. Um... But, yeah, I mean, we can at least figure out. So, if this is going to be the one that takes us this way, I guess I could set up the one that takes us the other way on the other side back here. Mm -hmm. I see now why Doc had these underneath, though. Because oh, Wait, but can you put the timer directly underneath or on the bottom? Yeah, he had them on, attached to the bottom of the frame, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. so. You can, put, you can so, definitely put those on walls. Yeah. So if I had all this stuff on the bottom of the frame, like Doc had, somebody moving around? Hmm? I'm not. Doc, you having fun rearranging your desk? User okay, well, whatever. Channel timed out. So, let's see. Yeah, we would put more frames out here. So technically, how big is this? This is a... It's not big at all. It's, it's like a... I would say it's four by three? Or yeah. No, it's four by four, yeah. technically. No, four by five, because we need to include the lever over here, the backstop. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I could figure it out, but okay. Well, we'll just build some more frames. I think that the maximum frame limit is a thousand for how big a uh, thing can be. Really? You can get a thousand frames? No, that's fine. Yeah, I think that we might actually just have to uh, pretty much end the video around here. Because, I mean, I, honestly, we, we've been at this for, like, hours. Have we? Oh my life! I think we have, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I, I need to get back to my home base. Um, okay, do, do you have a book, or mm, oh, I guess you can just fly back to the portal I'm, and then I'm, take that. I'm, I'm gonna just follow my. Whilst the sun's still up, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna run for it. Because oh, I don't trust portals. <laughs> okay. Well, the thing is, you're at some blocks from spawn. 
yeah that's not bad it's only 800 or so I can if you're sure yeah I mean you no can worries. go through the nether I can but no I'm good I'm good I, I've got I like tunnel. running in the rain <laughs> Okay, I've got a nether portal that does... Uh, like, if you go through the nether portal, you can run through a tunnel to get back to spawn. That's how I used to do it before I had the um, the books together. Oh, I see. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I've, I've got my I've got my um, map keys up. And I've got okay, a jetpack, cool. so it's, it's almost full, so... Fair enough. Well, anyway, I guess that concludes this episode of Joe and Cleo expert rowers while Doc <laughs> is kind of there. Anyway, until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Joined by Zombie Cleo from Britain. Any final words, Cleo? Uh, latest dudes. Keep adventuring. <laughs>